currently at the gym. It is Friday night and I really wasn't gonna come today, but I just, I felt myself slipping into an existential crisis, which happens way too frequently these days. I cracked a Celsius um, after I woke up from my Friday afternoon nap and I was just like, I need to run some steam off. I, so I'm just gonna go on the treadmill cause it is freezing and snowy and windy outside. Basically this weekend, I don't have much going on. So I'm really trying to focus on just making this a self care reset type of weekend. A lot going on in my head right now and I just feel like to take care of myself this weekend. We're starting with this and we'll see what else the weekend brings. Thank you for being here, I love you. happy I went. I'm gonna go home, shower off, get a nice bite to eat, chill with a mocktail, and probably watch Netflix with my parents, and get some rest. Some much needed weekend rest. run a few little tiny errands. I did car wash, get some gas, and go to the ATM. Those are like my three little errands. Um, things I've been actually putting off for weeks. So far, it's been a really nice 
productive. Oh, it's so bright. It's been a really nice productive day. I feel very content. It's so nice to just be able to like take my time and just get everything done that I need to get done with no pressure. Oh, let's go run these errands. Look at this lineup right now. Did not expect this, but okay. Also, this album, Good Thing We Stayed by Julia Wolf. Absolute chef's kiss. And if you know, you know. That was therapeutic and also the best express car wash that I have ever been through. I need to do that more. Like that's $10 therapy right there. and make it to go. ginormous pimple that decided to pop up last night and it really hurts and it's in the weirdest spot ever like it just so random I usually only get anything on my chin whatever it doesn't matter I'm gonna go get a matcha from Starbucks I think only because I have a gift card for there otherwise I would go support local I have such a hard time relaxing on days like this like I had such a productive day yesterday and now I need to give myself time to relax, but I'm having a really hard time relaxing. The Sunday scaries are in full swing. So let's get more caffeine. Yeah, that'll definitely help me relax. <laughs> anyway, it is so beautiful and sunny out. Literally, the sunshine is the only thing that makes winter less insufferable. But I have to go in because the drive through line was atrocious. And if you go in, it's always faster anyway. This better be worth it because when I have to go in somewhere for something, instead of going through the drive-thru, I get really like, just feel like I'm doing the most. I got a beautiful little green matcha baby girl. Grande iced matcha latte made with almond milk, two pumps of hazelnut. 
because I've heard that's the way to go. I would have done oat milk, but honestly, I can't fight that I'm an almond milk girl. I can't fight that side of my personality. It just doesn't work. And I've tried, tried and tried because I want to be an oat milk girly. But I just can't. Also, the workers in there seem like they were really miserable and like having a really bad day. And I know that their drive through is really busy right now. And I know how hard cafe work is and I just hope their day gets better. Just want to say that. Put that into the universe. Okay. Oh my God. This is amazing. I understand why people say hazelnut. I'm usually not one for hazelnut, but this is good. There are some like, I think that's normal, like little chunkies in it. That is so good. Hazelnut mixed with matcha is so good because like the nuttiness of the hazelnut just blends so nice with like the natural taste of the matcha. It's definitely going to help get me through the rest of the day. Yay. Come here. So I decided to journal it out and I had kind of a cute idea. You know how everybody has like a word of the year? Well, I decided that my word for 2023 is going to be becoming because I just think that it stands for so much in like my growth process and my healing process overall. So I decided that I'm going to write out a bunch of affirmations about what I'm becoming and then I'm also going to do some gratitude journaling just write down things that I'm thankful for and this always just makes me feel better and sometimes I neglect to do it and I want to get a lot better about actually doing it this is kind of what it looks like just for reference is just listing it and writing the affirmations one after the other and I think the reason that I love the word becoming so much is because it stands for the process rather than the product it's the process of growing you are becoming something you haven't become something i don't know does that make sense like i'm not there yet but i'm getting there and i'm working every day to get there i'm becoming i just love that and when i thought of that word it just was like kind of like a no-brainer that that was going to be my word of the year <music> So I'm at the gym. This is usually my favorite time to come to the gym. Sunday night. Usually it's pretty dead and it's also just my favorite way to end the weekend lately. And I say lately because that has certainly not always been the case. I have not always been a gym girl. I am not trying to even pretend that I've always been a gym girl. I look bald. Okay, I promise I have hair right here. Lately, it's just been like so relaxing to come here on a Sunday night. It just helps with my anxiety, my Sunday scaries, you know the drill. It just helps me get all of that out and feel relaxed while I settle in. And it helps me get a good night's sleep, usually, even though lately it's that's not really been a thing at all. But I'm here and I'm super, super excited because my sister found me a pair of hokas on Depop for a sweet deal. And I have wanted a pair of hokas for a while, not to necessarily replace my Brooks for running, but just like for the gym. So I have them here in my bag. I'll show them to you guys when I get inside, but I'm really excited. I decided I'm going to use them as just like my indoor gym shoes. They look brand new and I got them for $75. I'm excited to have a good workout and then go home and take a nice self-care shower and tuck in for the night. Mm -hmm. 